Well, Debbie Reynolds and Carrie Fisher were laid to rest today at a joint private funeral service. Some of Fisher's ashes were reportedly placed in her mother's coffin, but the rest were put in a giant Prozac pill urn. Some fans wondered why. CBS 2's Stacy Butler has the answer. I love it. But I'm a psychiatrist. Newport Beach psychiatrist Dr. Gazuza Rabi sees the humor in the Fisher family choice for her ashes, a giant Prozac container. She also sees the power of Carrie Fisher's acceptance and advocacy to seek help for mental illness. For a celebrity to be open about it, I think it brings a lot of awareness and it, it, it makes it so that it's okay to talk about it, it's okay to you know, express that you need help. The actress who struggled with bipolar disorder didn't hide her battle with mental illness throughout her adult life. Now, even in death, her family is making sure her legacy and humor live on. Well, Carrie's favorite possession was a uh, giant Prozac pill that she bought many years ago, a big pill, and she loved it. It was in her house, and Billy and I felt that it was where she would want to be. Here at Harbor Psychiatry and Mental Health, Dr. Zarabi says she never treated Carrie Fisher, but she says Fisher's very public battle helped countless patients with their own mental illness. And I think there's just such a negative stigma attached to mental health. People are just scared and they're just terrified of the concept of crazy. At her funeral, Fisher's brother carried the big pill with her ashes, giving Carrie Fisher the last laugh. She's loved by everyone, so I think, you know, if she had stuff going on, then it's then it's okay. In Newport Beach, Stacy Butler, CBS 2 News.